I also want to say it's never done until it's done. Like it's never too late. Um, and so I've started actually using this lens now when I coach some of my clients and I started becoming a bit of a detective of like, okay, what is potentially in your energy that could be blocking you or protecting you from having more right now? Welcome to the Energy Upgrade podcast. I'm your host, Vanessa Grutman. And if you are a high achieving woman, a successful entrepreneur, an inspiring entrepreneur, or just a woman with kick-ass big dreams, you're in the right place. If you value your energy, your health, if you want to be a biohacker, tap into longevity, if you want to raise the impact you have in this lifetime, you're gonna have a lot of fun around here. As a second time seven figure business creator, certified health practitioner and soul biohacker, I'm here to reconnect you to your energy, to the soul of your business and to your superpowers. Let's go. Welcome home. And today I'm excited to take you with me on a big breakthrough I had during Supernatural. We just wrapped the Supernatural Vortex and let me tell you, wow, it was incredible. Not only did we have almost a thousand women that tuned in and plugged into either the live sessions or the replays, but we also had very, very um, novel, very mind twisting type of content that I wanted to offer this time. I didn't call this event supernatural for no reason. I wanted to offer really a new and fresh perspective on all the things that we actually have way more control on that can make us supernatural. All the things that are, are just extraordinary and that we forgot about ourselves, about our bodies, about our soul's mission. And we forgot simply because of the social conditioning, the programming, the things we are told, the cultural um, pressure, the social pressure. I mean, the list goes on and on. And especially as women, we have been... Um, yeah, we've been really, really kind of the victim of that, especially being in fear for, for thousands of years, feeling unsafe to be in the full expression of ourselves, to be in the full expression of our light. This event um, was meant to reactivate some codes. It was meant to help you remember why you are here in the power that you have. So you can imagine that this wasn't just a, a walk in the park. This event, not only for me, but for the people that participated, was in fact quite an initiation. A lot of people had um, physical reactions even during the sessions, um, like shivers and goosebumps and tears and full head to toe um, sweating. And I mean, all of this is always, I always say, you know, if you can listen to these events that I'm doing, these master classes with your body and not with your mind, because our body knows, our heart knows way before the mind, and that is proven. And so, really following the the body as a guide, really noticing is my body reacting to what was just said, and if if it is, then why? Is there something? Is there a remembrance? Is there something? Is there a message? Is there something that I need to plug into? So all of that to say, it was probably my most powerful event, my most transformative event. Um, I've had so many people tell me how this was you know, the first time in, in years that they had so much clarity, the visions people had. Um, I had someone, a client who told me she, um, like a previous client who told me she hadn't had her cycle in 94 days. And on day four of Supernatural, it was all released. Um, I mean, that, that's the kind of stuff we're talking about here. <laughs> It really was powerful. And of course, this happened as I'm about to hop on the plane to host my very first in-person international retreat in Mexico. And I am just so thrilled. I have so much excitement and anticipation, like positive anticipation for this moment that we are about to live. Um, there's 12 women who heard the call. So I'm going to have the honor of supporting 12 women in 
their healing journey. And our focus is primarily going to be around opening the heart and reconnecting to ourselves through our heart. Um, because one thing I have noticed in my work and in working on myself and my healing is that that's where we find our answers. As type A high achievers, ambitious women, we um, we have fallen for the hustle culture at one point. We have fallen for the need for external validation. And we have learned to protect ourselves from disappointments, from, from shame, from guilt, from anger, all of it. And what that did is it turned our heart into stone, really. Like we have become so good at not allowing ourselves to feel fully just to protect ourselves, just to protect our fear, just to, just in case we could get heard. Like we, we've become so good. Um, and literally what, what that means is we've rewired our entire body but this is not the way. There is another way. And when we start softening the heart, when we start healing the heart, when we start peeling back the layers, we can find ourselves again. We can remember who we are. We can remember our identity. We can remember what is it that I like? What is it that I don't like? What are my boundaries? What are the things that I'm willing to tolerate? What are the things that I'm not willing to tolerate? Anyway, so as you can see, this this um, journey in Mexico is going to be nothing short of transformative and extraordinary. I cannot wait, especially that we're going to be in this beautiful, holistic resort, five-star resort, which I just saw last week was voted by Forbes the best resort in Mexico. Um, it actually also won two other awards. Like, it is going to be amazing. And what I wanted to come and talk to you about today is, is kind of along those lines, but is a concept called energetic protection. And I'm bringing this up because this is, you know, behind the scenes during Supernatural, it was a very powerful event. Um, but behind the scenes, a lot of stuff happened personally, like everything on the work front, like the team, we were all like all in, we were so organized. Everybody was clear about their roles. Everybody stepped up. Like that was tremendous. And I felt so, so, so supported during that event. So that was incredible. Um, but things were happening on the personal front with our kids. Um, I shared, I think it was on the Thursday and thank God I'm laughing now, but um, my son fell our entire set of stairs. So that 17 stairs scared the, I'm going to say the shit out of us. Like my entire system, nervous system completely flipped out. Um, and thankfully he had absolutely nothing except some bruises on his chin, which is just literally a miracle that happened. And that was like very, very stressful, but We've been dealing lately with um, my daughter having issues at night, falling asleep, and just like this, like really, really powerful fears that are showing up at night. She just turned 10. And, you know, I, I opened up in a close circle of entrepreneurs that I'm I'm coaching with, and turns out, gosh, I'm not alone. So I wanted to bring this up because... And you're going to understand this thing about energetic protection. It is quite mind blowing. So while Supernatural was unfolding, this was happening in the background where every night, you know, my daughter goes to bed, but she wakes up about an hour later and she is like full on, almost like a panic attack. She is panicking. She is scared that we are going to fall asleep before she can fall back asleep. She's scared that she's going to be the only one in the home, in the house that is awake. Like the kind of stuff that I'm like, where is this coming from? And in fact, you know, I've been, of course, working really hard on supporting her and, you know, helping her with some activations and visualizations and, and just like being able to decipher when, when the mind is racing versus like, what's the truth in the body? What's the truth in the heart? And so we've been doing a lot of that, but at the end of the day, you know, it is also stressing me because I'm just wondering like, how can I help her and how can I, you know, how can I make sure she falls back asleep without worrying? And how can I make sure that she doesn't have this fear every single night because she keeps waking up multiple times. And, and so we end up going to bed really late, all of us. And thank God my son is like sleeping like a log. 
through all of this, but you know, so I'm, I'm tired and I'm worried about what the heck is going on, but you know, the show must go on. I'm delivering supernatural. Um, and then I'm wondering, I'm, I'm asking my coach, I'm like, gosh, you know, I thought more people would jump on some of the offers that I had. I just felt like they were so powerful. Um, what, like, why are people not like, why are people hesitating? And she asks me really bluntly. And she says, did you say you were tired in the last five days at any point? And I, I started laughing. I'm like, well, yes, I said it multiple times because I am tired because of what's happening with my daughter at night, which means I go to bed like super late. And she's like, okay. And, and like, so you've said multiple times that you were tired. And do you think that in a tired state, you can welcome more clients? And I'm like, well, like, I guess no. <laughs> and she's like, why do you think the universe would send you more clients if, as it is right now, you feel tired? She's like, you got to clean that up. Like, that needs, that is what's blocking it. And I was like, what are you talking? Like, this is crazy. But at the same time, it just felt so true. I was like, holy moly. Okay. So here I am saying I'm so tired because of what's happening in my personal life. And again, I'm not blaming my daughter. It's just what it is. I'm here for her. Um, but this is the circumstance and this is happening behind the scenes, but it is messing up with the energetics. It is messing up with the energetics because people might be picking up on that. And so I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. We really have to clean this up. So anyway, on the weekend, we had a, my, one of my really close friend, um, who used to be my client was hosting a big show. You may have seen that if you follow me on Instagram, I went there, my husband joined me in the, in, in the city and we actually, um, had a night, um, at the hotel and we had a babysitter with, with uh, my daughter. And of course I was worried the whole time. I'm like, oh my gosh, is she going to be okay? So the next day we come back home and everything went okay, but you know, she jumps into our arms and starts crying and crying. And you could tell like she had been holding it in and I'm like, oh my goodness. So then we look at each other. I have my retreat in 10 days and my husband and I are like, and we were supposed to be leaving the two, like the two of us are supposed to be going. And my, my mom and my parents were going to be coming and staying at home with the kids. And we're just like, we can't, we can't do this. Like she, she needs us. There is no way my parents are going to be able to handle this. Like, this is just crazy. So we make that decision on that night, the hard decision that my husband is going to stay behind, even though he's the one who organized everything about the retreat. He's the one who has it all in his head. The intention was, I was just going to be able to show up, be in my, like be supported and be in my, you know, in my best um, mindset, mind shape, so I can support and hold these women. And he's like, you know, we, I can't go. And I'm like, you're right. You can't go. So we cancel the trip. And right away, my daughter is like, I can feel this massive weight lift of her, lift off her shoulders. And, and I'm like, oh my goodness. I think that's what created this fear of like, like this anticipation that we were going to be gone. And so she was already starting to be anxious about it and feel the fear. And like, what if I wake up and what if you guys are not there? And what if, anyway, so we, we make that decision on Sunday night. I, I feel good about it for my daughter, but I don't feel good for myself because I'm like, but I need support. What is going to happen? Like, I can't do my first retreat like this on my own. The next morning I had my monthly massage with my massage therapist, who's just extraordinary. I love her. Been seeing her since we moved back here in Quebec. So two and a half years, maybe. And I tell her this situation and she looks at me. She's like, I'll go with you. Don't worry about it. I got you. I'll go with you. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, fly me there and, and I'll go with you. I'll, I'll do the ninja Phil. <laughs> he was, he was calling himself the ninja Phil during this, for this event. And she's like, I'll take care of it. That's what I do. I, that's, I facilitate retreats. That's what I do. I'm the one behind the scenes that organizes everything that holds the energy. I'm, I'm like holding the container. I'm like, Oh my gosh. And what's funny is that morning she always has me to pull a card and the card was 
you need to learn to receive, like you need to receive the help. You need to see that you're not alone. You need to see that people are wanting to support you and you need to get, like take it. And I'm like, okay, like all these messages, everything is lining up. So I say, yes. Okay. Yes. I welcome your help. I need your help. I need you. So yes, let's do this. I trust her. I know she's actually going to be incredible. And this is exactly the kind of support I need. And in fact, it probably is going to be even better than my husband. <laughs> so this happens. And then my daughter starts sleeping way better because somehow that stress has lifted and the sales start coming in. The sales, like people start jumping on the programs. We're still doing the supernatural. Like we still have two days to go. And like, it's like, ping, ping, ping. People are getting in. People are like, yes, yes, I'm, I'm ready. I, and, and I ended up having, you know, another beautiful six figure launch and I'm just blown away. And I wanted to come and share this because this concept of energetic protection changed everything. And I also want to change. I also want to say it's never done until it's done. Like it's never too late. Um, and so I've started actually using this lens now when I coach some of my clients and I started becoming a bit of a detective of like, okay, what is potentially in your energy that could be blocking you or protecting you from having more right now, right? Because there's one thing, like we are all trying to manifest more. We all want more money. We all want more clients, but the truth is, can we hold it? You know, I had a, a client the other day who's in the thick of a renovation and it's, it's just, it's consuming her. And at the same time, she's crying and she's telling me how she is wanting to have like all these clients and she's manifesting and she's showing up online. And it's true. She is doing all the things like she's showing up. And I, and I look at her and I say, how are you feeling with your reno? Like, how is that? Like, how are you feeling with it? And she's like, I am so tired. I feel so drained. And I was like, bingo, this is it. This is why it's not coming in. And it's so interesting. I wanted to come and share this today because I want you to look at in your life, where are things not coming in and where are you feeling disappointed because they're not coming in? Okay. So that's step number one. So maybe you're disappointed because you're not getting the, the revenues, the clients coming in. So look at that. And then part two is, is there anything that you have said that would contradict this wish? So for example, me, I was hoping to be welcoming more people but what do I need in order to be able to welcome more people? I need to feel my energy. I need to feel strong. I need to feel like I, I got them. I need to feel like I can support them. If I'm feeling tired, I can't support them. Can you start to see? So if you are in the thick of a reno and it's actually consuming like eight hours out of your day because people pop in your office every minute to ask you, where should I put this plug? And what about this paint? You know, I've done a reno before. It's a nightmare. So you know what, what I told that client? I said, what about, you know, she had a big launch. I said, what about you do a wait list instead and you allow yourself to be in this reno and you take that pressure off. Like you say, guys, this is consuming my energy and I can't give you the, the kind of, of support I want to give you right now here online. So I'm going to go and take care of this stuff and I'm going to come back. And when I come back, I'm going to start this waiting list. When I come back, I'm going to be 110% because right now I feel I'm showing up maybe not at 100%. And, she, you know, she messaged me the next day. She's like, oh my gosh, I feel so good. I have so much energy suddenly just because I removed that pressure and I've opened my waiting list and I've already made stories about it. I already made a newsletter about it and things are already starting to shift. I tell you, it is almost immediate. That's what happened for me. Crazy. So energetic protection, where currently the universe is protecting you from getting more because you like if we are honest with ourselves, we can't hold more. So, you know, finances. Have you ever complained about money? Have you ever complained about 
Um, or have you ever, you know, not taken care of the money that you receive or not acknowledge the money that you receive? And so why would we send you more? You don't, you don't even look at the one you have, you know, there's so many little, like, so, so this is what I've realized is as you grow your business, it's actually like all the tweaks are actually in the details. All the tweaks are actually in the subtle energy. All the tweaks, like it's not about big strategies. Like often people ask me, like, how do I scale? It's actually not going to be in the strategies. It's how you show up. It's your self-leadership. It's your level of awareness. And it's these little details, like energetic details. It is crazy. So this was my story. So now you have a little bit more of a behind the scene and what happened during Supernatural. Um and how maybe that might be happening to you right now. So I wanted to share this because since I've discovered this or if, since I've had this, this way of looking at it, wow, it is so crazy. So your job here and now today is to take full responsibility for your energy because your energy is what's going to attract or block the next step. So if you are feeling like your hormones are off, if you're feeling like you are anxious and overwhelmed, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling like you are gaining weight and you're not feeling good, if you're feeling like anything you are feeling on your body physical side is an indication of what is in the energetics. And so whenever you feel ready to go and explore that, you like nobody can do that for you. It's your journey. Uh, but of course, this is where I come in. This is where I can, I can support you in so many different ways. Um, so, you know, if, if ever that's you, if ever you're like, Ooh, okay, I, I actually need to really pay attention to this. Let me know. This is how we can support you. This is, this is all the teachings that I do. It's all around that. And very soon we are starting resilient, which is my brand new five week program, which I cannot wait to be honest, because this is the thing. Everything I'm talking about ultimately is also about this muscle of resilience, which is the ability to hold two things. Like for example, during Supernatural, I had this, you know, worry for my daughter and this, you know, I felt tired, but at the same time I had to be on the top of my game, you know, delivering life-changing content. And so, you know, for me to be able to juggle those two polar opposites <laughs> feelings takes resilience. And for my, my nervous system not to get off the chart and actually feel good about doing that, that is the muscle. And actually, the more you grow your business, the more hats you get to wear, the more resilience becomes your lifeline. Because life is never going to, going to be just like, okay, everything is great. All, everything, everything, everything is going to be perfect for a week. And then we're going to be having a week where nothing is perfect. And that it doesn't work like that. It's like every minute, sometimes in the same second, I'll have the best news and the worst news. So, how the heck can I actually lead myself through that? How the heck can I still show up? How the heck can I still be connected to my vision and not lose hope or not want to, you know, throw it all away? Which is what really happens to most entrepreneurs, by the way. Most entrepreneurs start, but they never continue because as soon as they have their first hurdles, they usually stop because they make it mean something about them. So that's another tangent, but just saying, if you don't have resilience, even if you're, if you don't have your own business, even if you work with someone else, like it is very hard to lead yourself at a higher level and to be the leader you want to be if you are dealing with that. So building resilience to me is just the stretch. It's the flex. It's what we need in order to be a better mom, a better leader, a better wife, a better partner, a better, um, you know, trailblazer, a better community, um, lifter, like that's what we do. That's how many hats we get to wear. So if you're, it's not too late, you can still join us in Resilient. We actually start on October 15th. So if ever you're being called by this program, just um, DM me the word Resilient. I'll send you more information. Or if you are just being called to work with us, um, DM us It'll also like DM me. I still look at all my DMs. I would love to be able to come in and figure out what what option would be best for you for where you're at right now? So again, thank you so much for listening. I hope this concept of energetic protection shifted a few things inside of you. I know it did for me. And so I 
it will for you as well. I cannot wait to um, come back here next week for another episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you for leaving reviews. Thank you. Thank you for all your feedback. Thank you for sharing also when an episode resonates with you, because that's how we get to have more people in our community. That's how we get to have more people aware of this big thing we are trying to create. So thank you. Thank you. Love you. The information shared on this podcast is for information purposes only and doesn't provide any medical advice. Vanessa Grutman does not cure, diagnose, or treat disease. Please consult your physician before trying any new protocol or product.